Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind It's gonna be a bright, 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 bright sunshiny day Alright, hello and welcome back to my channel, Selena Rubia is my name and in today's video I'm going to be sharing my latest study which has been Theta Healing let me get the book alright so if you're new to my channel or even if you've been on my channel for a while I am very interested in um, spirituality and I also like to connect things so I've been very interested and curious and I've been focusing on spirituality as well as science and feeling like they go together in some way and the beauty of it is that I have found this thing called Theta Healing which I've had this book for a while but I finally finished reading it this summer and absolutely loved it so I ended up buying um, the original one, just the updated version, because this one I have been, I was borrowed this by a friend. And then I bought this one as well, which kind of goes deeper into um, a part of what Theta Healing is. So, what is Theta Healing? Theta Healing is a, um, is a tool that you can use regardless of which religion you have. Um, it is based upon your faith, your belief in a source, in a core creator of everything that is. So whether you call that Allah, um, God, source, um, the creator of all that is, universal intelligence, whatever name or reference you have to what you experience as the source of everything that is in existence, you're going to connect with that through a meditation, through a practice. So I think this is very new for a lot of people and it's brilliant. I really recommend um, giving it a try. You know, what's the harm in trying? Um, so I'll share more with you about Theta Healing and you can make up your mind if it resonates. If it does, I really recommend testing it. If it doesn't, you don't have to, of course. You have free will. Beauty of life. So, um, with Theta Healing, you go into this meditation, which is really fast, it's like within seconds, which I absolutely love because I've not been the person to sit still and like sit in stillness that much. If you see my butterfly video, you can see that the butterfly helped me sit still, but that's not been something that I've been very good at practicing. Since reading the Theta Healing book though, I've been more in this, um, this state of pure like being and stillness and um, yeah so you go into the meditation a um, couple seconds you connect with your perspective your experience of what I call pure source consciousness so God and um, in the when you get into this state and you close your eyes and you visualize and you're doing the meditation a couple seconds minute you get there you can scientifically they've seen that your brain waves goes into what is called theta so there's different brave brain waves right different um, frequencies I think that your brain goes in depending on which if you're in Delta or all the different ones so let me see if I can find um, 10 let me see if I can find what she says from the book Yeah, so there's beta, whenever you're thinking, talking, I'm reading from the Theta Healing book now by Viana Stival. She's the creator um, of this content, of this tool, this practice. Whenever, whenever you are thinking, talking and communicating, your mind is in beta. It will be in beta at this moment. Beta waves have a frequency of tw 14 to 28 cycles per second. Beta is the state in which you are active and alert. Then there's alpha, and then there's theta. So, oh 
Oga. Hey, shamana mana mana shamana nana. We don't play. And I'll have I'll have the book book linked um, down in the uh, description box. So, theta. A theta state is a very deep state of relaxation. This is the state used in hypnosis and dreaming. So I also want to say that theta healing itself is not hypnosis, like you're not going under hypnosis. You're still awake, you're still alert, you're in a state of deep relaxation as it said. As it said um, this is the state used in hypnosis and dreaming. In it, the brain waves are slowed to a frequency of 4 to 7 cycles per second. In fact, sages meditate for hours and hours to reach this state. As in it, as in it they are able to access absolute calmness. Theta brain waves can be thought of as, as the subconscious. They govern a part of our mind that is layered between the conscious and the unconscious. They hold memories and sensations. They also govern our attitudes, beliefs and behavior. They are always creative, inspirational and characterized by very spiritual sensations. It is believed that the theta state allows us to act below the level of the conscious mind. It is the first stage of the dream state. It is the state we are in when we stand on top of the mountain, completely absorbed in our surroundings. At that moment of realization, we experience the absolute knowing that God is real. We just know that God is. When we access a theta state and call upon the Creator, we connect to the Creator of all that is to heal a person instantly. In theta healing, when you imagine yourself going up above your head through your crown chakra, your brain will still be in an alpha state on the electro electrocephalograph. But it has been shown that once consciousness is sent through the crown with the focused thought that it will go up and seek God, the brain automatically shift, shifts to a pure theta state on the electrocephalograph. What did the ancients mean when they said, go up and ask of God? When you imagine lifting your consciousness above your head through your crown chakra and you go up and ask of God, your brain waves shift instantly to theta. When I was asked what I was doing in my readings, this is what I realized. I was sitting across from the person, holding their hands and imagining myself going above my space, praying that God would grant me the reading that this person needed and it was giving to me. I was holding a theta state. And then there's the delta, which is where uh, the mind, when you are in a deep sleep, and then there's gamma, which is where the brain goes when we learn and process information. So those are the brain waves states that um, Diana shares in this book. So, um, yeah, so there you can see that there's a combination between where you're consciously moving your being. And, um, of course, because it's about the core, the pure source consciousness, the source of all that is, that is what we've seen as spirituality. And then there's a combination of science from the perspective that you're able to see through scientific method that the brain waves are actually changing um, in, in harmony, in accordance with what you're doing with your mind, with your consciousness, with your awareness. So I absolutely love it. I think it's so fascinating. And um, something that I really love about Theta Healing is uh, the practice of going through your subconscious. So there's a lot of beliefs that we hold, uh, beliefs about life, beliefs about ourselves. And a lot of these beliefs stem from our past experiences, our personal experiences, especially in childhood. So let's say your child who was beaten and at the same time told that you were loved or you were beaten by, beaten by the people who say, said that they loved you, um, then you might have created a belief from personal experience that um, love equals pain, that is dangerous to be loved because the people that love claim to love you or said that they loved you um, were violent towards you. So then you might have a belief, maybe not even in your consciousness, because your conscious mind might have been able to um, go through life and grow and see that, no, love is not violent. Love is caring. Love is nurturing. Love is love. 
Um, but then there might be in your subconscious still from those experiences as a kid, there might be subconscious beliefs of love can be dangerous, right? So with Theta Healing, what you're able to do is you go through that meditation and then um, you, you can ask to be shown the truth. So there is also something called that's energy testing, which basically connects your subconscious to, or you can, you can um, observe your subconscious. So with the energy testing, um, you lean forward and backwards. So when you lean forwards, then it's a yes, you stay centered. You say a statement, and if you move backwards, then it's a no. So you can stand up and test for yourself and say, um, love is dangerous. If you lean forwards, then that means that subconsciously that is a belief that you hold. And then you can even go deeper into it and see the four levels of belief that are talked about in Theta Healing. So the first level of belief um, is the core level, then there's the um, genetic level, then there's the history level, and the history level is... wait for this airplane <laughs> okay the history level is not really your own ours the history level um, is um, so it can be something that we like the collective consciousness, the zeitgeist, where, um, let's say, we believe that men are in charge. That's been like the collective consciousness, right, for a long time. And so maybe that changes your attitude as a woman or even as a man, because if you, um, um, I don't know what to say, but if you agree with that, if you hold that collective consciousness belief as your own, that would be like on the history level and that's something that you can work through with Theta Healing. Love it. And then the last, the last of the four belief levels according to Theta Healing is the soul level. Um, and that's like the deepest you can go. So you can then go further into say love is dangerous and um, you can say, love it. I believe that love is dangerous or the program of love is dangerous is on the core level. If you move forwards, then it's on the core level. If you move backwards, then it's not on the core level. And then you can go through the belief of love is dangerous is on the um, genetic level. The genetic level is from your parents or from your ancestors. It's the information that lies within your DNA. Of course, DNA is information, and it carries more than just physical information of who you appear to be, who, your physicality. It's also about your um, neurons, right? G DNA, genetic material, about um, behavior patterns, beliefs, like these things um, exist even on a genetic level. I think that's so fascinating. And with Theta Healing, you can, you can change, you can influence um, and return to your core self, your true self, who you came to be. And what is more fulfilling than that, to actually live your life ex experience and existence as your full and true self, sharing yourself in every moment of every day, um, feeling yourself, just being yourself, you know, and how relaxing that is. Because if, if you believe that you should be someone else and you kind of fight against that, then that can be exhausting. Like, okay, I'm, no, this is who I am, this is who I'm supposed to be, and you feel like you're fighting yourself, you feel like you're fighting the world, the government, your parents, your friends. But when you create that belief and you clear your beliefs and kind of filter away all this, I should be this, or I'm not doing this right, or I have to do it this way, or they are expecting this of me, and you clear all that, and you really and fully believe and feel that you can be your true self, naturally, gracefully, easily, playfully, why would you not want to, you know? I know I want to do that. 
So yeah, that's what I've been doing with Theta Healing and I'm loving it, I'm absolutely loving it. And I really have been excited, so excited to share with you, all of you on this YouTube platform. Thank you so much for subscribing, for liking, sharing, commenting, for being, honestly. Um, I hope you're feeling loved today. I hope you're feeling appreciated today. Um, sending you so much love, so, so much love and gratitude. Um, and I'm excited to see you in the next one, when, whenever and however that will be. <laughs>